Morning everybody. Well, it's another day at the barn build. And as you can see behind me, of course, the wall is standing still. Uh, it's been 12 hours or so since I we put it up. So, you know, it is still there. That's kind of good news. A um, couple of things that have to happen today with this wall. Um, down here at this uh, left-hand side corner, my subfloor was it had a little bit of a you know flare to it we'll call it and so the wall is not be able being able to sit flush so i brought over my cutoff tool i'm just going to zip that off so i can get this um, pushed back a little bit farther probably can see it's not at the line which it really needs to be at this line so that should solve that issue i'm going to build my little pony wall here on the side and then i'm going to work on this wall which is going to be full height and it also is going to be the door entrance to our Airbnb space. So what we're seeing right now is kind of the, we'll call it the living area of the Airbnb space. Um, up here, if you can imagine, is going to be a loft. So we are going to have a loft in it as well, um, which is part of the reason why we have the extra height. We also wanted that kind of salt box roof line um, shape and it's it's going to be adjusted of course from a standard standard uh, salt box shape but you know that was our goal so anyway so this wall is going to get done again this is going to be a door uh, 80 inch tall door 80 inch is going to match my window here so this is going to be a nice straight line which is I think going to be pleasing in general um, and that's where we're at so stick around I'm going to fix this corner and then we're going to work on our little pony wall over here <laughs> Hey, Jay, get back. <laughs> I gotta sheet my wall before I put it up. Where it goes. Perfect. 
I'm having some serious camera problems today, but anyway, this pony is up. I call pony. I totally screwed up though. It was supposed to, my sheeting was supposed to go all the way down to the bottom. Um, and I just didn't do add the math in. So I kind of really screwed up even though the whole point was to do that. I didn't measure this for square. I used the factory edge of the zip um, to make sure these two sides were square. If they were square, then the rest of it was gonna be square. Uh, so anyway, that's that. And now this is really tight. More to come, stick around. Uh, it has been quite a few days since we got our wall stood up. Uh, part of that is because it's been dumping rain. I have the farmer's market uh, that I go to on Sundays up in Bridgeport in, here in West Virginia. And uh, in general, it's just been really hard to get out here. Um, the last time I worked on the, the barn, it was unbelievably hot. So I'm hoping that although it's really humid out, that the temperatures are gonna be cool enough that I can continue working on this. Um, I do need to get my gin pole down. Yes, it did unfortunately set out in the rain for a few days, but I really didn't want, did not want that wall to blow over. And it was really windy one day. So I'm glad I left it up, but I'm gonna have confidence now because I'm gonna get, I finally figured out my measurements uh, and my framing for our door entry that's gonna go here. Um, normally, so again with advanced framing, you'll notice I don't have a header on this window. I won't have a header uh, here on the door either because it's gonna be supported by a beam coming across. So there's nothing pushing down on it because all the rafters are being supported by the beam uh, and the columns and the wall over here. Uh, and obviously this rafter is being supported by all these two by two by sixes, but the beam will be going through this wall, which is why I left the hole here. So I can figure out how to cut that hole in it to get my beam through. And since I didn't have my beam in place before I built the wall, which would be kind of hard to do, I left it the way it is. So what I need to do is I need to finish um, getting all my two by sixes nailed up and we'll get it sheeted up. Um, and then I'll probably come back here and frame up this other part. All right, so next part, got the wall done. Uh, my battery died, so you didn't probably see me put the sheathing on. Uh, anyway, it's going over here. Margaret's gonna come out and help me, and we're gonna get this thing 
tilt it up and slid it into place should be pretty straightforward. Thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching the videos. If you guys do like what you're watching, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, uh, and you know all that other good stuff. So have a wonderful day.